Hey guys, how's it going? Mio Excuto back with another video once again. Now today, let me just zoom this a little bit. Today we're going to be talking about what I've been doing these past couple of weeks. Now school started about, let's say, today's the 4th, so it started May 1st. Now I wanted to make videos every single day starting in May. Um, it's most likely going to be starting May 7th. Uh, the reason being is this is pretty much where I'm at right now when it comes to my physique itself. And I'm plateauing. And it really sucks because I'm going to show you guys in a sec here what I'm supposed to be weighing and, you know, vice versa and stuff like that. What, what I'm supposed to be weighing, what I'm supposed to be doing, stuff like that. Now, I've been doing everything proper, 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 but I'm not weighing what I'm supposed to weigh. Now, I believe I plateaued and I'm going to go more in depth with that. But first, I'm going to talk about what I've been doing these past couple weeks. Now, since school started, I mean, I got, look at this, guys. I got three textbooks. I got more coming in. I'm ready on doing some homework right now. This is all online schooling, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, I should be able to make these videos every single day. What I'll just do is edit them at night just before I go to bed, but record them during the day. Is this good? Okay, now I've been doing that. Uh, I've been making programs for friends. Um, you know, it, it, it's been all over the place right now. And I'm trying to get everything back on track because I do have a competition. May 27th now, and that's not that long away, and I'm about three weeks, and today is, what, Thursday. Three weeks and two days out. Now, that means it's going to give me two days and two weeks to cut down as much body fat as I can, because peak week, you can't lose anything. Now, you can lose water weight, you can lose stuff like that, but you can't actually lose fat during peak week. Well, you shouldn't try to lose fat during peak week, because that's kind of the week where you're just kind of doing the final touches, if that makes sense. Now, so what I'm going to be doing to go past, now I'm going to talk about the plateauing part. For me to go past the plateauing, I'm going to have to increase cardio. Now, I could decrease my food intake, and that would mean less calories, less food I'm taking in. Um, if anything, I'm not going to decrease food because, one, I want to stay full. I want to look bigger f to be on stage this time around. Um, second, I do not want to deplete myself. I don't want to like not just lose because you, you will lose muscle if you don't eat enough. And of course, with l increased cardio, lose even more muscle um, if you don't have any more fat to burn. Even then, even if you still have some fat, you could learn, lose muscle. And what I'm doing to kind of maintain that is the BCA stuff like that. But you know, there's a lot of effects to that. So what I'm doing is keeping the food the same. Um, I've been using Saturdays and Fridays as refeed days. Now, since I have a lot of time off from work, I'm going to be using my refeed days pretty much on the days I work out. Roughly, I would be adding sweet potatoes. Right now, uh, I've been adding sweet potatoes every single time I, I, I work out. Now, um, I'm going to cut that down a little bit because if I give my body carbs, carbs to cut down uh, or to use as energy, it's going to use that during my workouts. Now, what I want my workouts to be is to use my fat as fuel. So I'm going to be increasing cardio, and what, what that consists of, well, first off, I already, already talked about the sweet potato and stuff, cutting that down. Everything else I'm eating is chicken, vegetables, um, rice cakes with peanut butter, honey peanut butter. The peanut butter, i got to keep an eye on that because um, look at the nutrition facts. First, One of the first two things are sugar. So um, I'm probably going to have to get something else more in the organic section and see what they got there because I do not want sugar in my diet. Uh, and I should have done that a lot sooner. But anyways, I mean, everybody makes mistakes. We're all human. You got to learn from them. Now, what was I just talking about? Cardio? Yeah, cardio. Now, uh, once we got past the nutrition part, you guys get the gist of it. You know, four eggs every morning, stuff like that. Now, when it comes to cardio, I've been doing 20 minutes of fasted cardio every single morning um, I work out. So that's roughly six times a week. And I've been doing 15 minutes of HIIT cardio, HIIT training, high-intensity interval training, um, after every workout, uh, 15 minutes. It, yeah, I said that like four times. Uh, you guys get the gist of it. So that's a lot of cardio every single day, and I'm still plateauing, meaning I'm still not losing weight, I'm not getting more vascular, and obviously you can't look at day by day, you have to look about week by week. Um, I'm still about 159 pounds. Uh, I was 159 pounds last week, and I'm still about 159 right now, so it's really slowing down at this point. My goal was to be around 155. I think I could reach about 155 by peak week. Um, it's hard to say. Hard to say. I may, If 156, I'd be happy with that. But 155 would be the best result because I came in really light at one point at 152. And it was good. It was really good. I was really shredded. 
but I felt like I was really skinny. I was really like almost, I lost a lot of muscle from that, um, which I gained back really quickly because I started eating a lot after, but I felt really small on stage. Now I want to be big, but I still want to be cut down and it's very hard to find the right thing for you to do that. Now, what I'm going to have to do and what I've done before, which I haven't done yet for this prep, is to add hockey into the regimen. So I'm going to be going to shinny hockey every single Saturday, Sunday for the next two, three weeks. Um, that's going to not only increase my cardio, it's going to burn fat as soon as I, like as soon as possible, if, if that makes sense. Um, it, it uses so many calories when you play hockey. Uh, it not, not only uses muscles um, when you're, you know, skating, whatever it may be, but it uses those fast twitch fibers, slow twitch fibers. Um, you're constantly moving. It's like hit cardio on the ice for an hour. And that's going to be really good to increase my fat burn, um, my weight loss for this prep. Um, and I think if I do everything correctly, so I'm still doing the hit cardio um, after my workouts and I'm doing the fasted cardio, then I, in I increase it by adding the uh, hockey into the regimen. Um, I believe I'll see results very quickly here and I think you guys will see the results very quickly as well. Now this Saturday I'm going to be showing what I look like and stuff like that, but um, after I include that cardio into my regimen, I think it's going to be changing a lot of things. Um, now I won't be doing hit cardio when I have hockey because when I add too much cardio in one day, that's going to burn too many calories if I'm not eating enough and that's going to start to lead to burn muscle tissue and you do not want to burn muscle. Now, I'm going to be having BCAs during hockey and be having BCAs during my fasted cardio, but that's pretty much what I'm going to be changing, what I've been doing these past couple of weeks. So, I'm going to be showing you quickly um, as to what I've been doing um, when it comes to cardio and stuff like that, and what were my goal weights. But what I'm currently at is 159 pounds, doing 20 minutes of fasted cardio in the morning, 15 minutes of HIIT cardio in the afternoon, and that's about it. What I'm going to add now is I'm going to be adding... Um, hockey so i'm just going to show you guys here uh exactly what i was supposed to be what i'm doing and stuff like that okay so four week mini cuts uh, i did not write down yet that i completed a couple days here but 20 minutes fasted 15 minutes after workout my goal was supposed to be 155 now when i made this i wasn't thinking that i was going to slow down um that i wasn't going to adapt to it now that i have adapted I'm not 158, I'm not 156, not 155, and we're almost on week three? What? Yeah, we're on almost week three. This, I might be changing, I actually might be just doing hit cardio, depending on what my body weight is. You're going to have to adapt to the situation, see what's going on, and I don't want to lose muscle, so depending on how I am, how cut down I am, will depend on what's going on. So, my end goal is going to be 155, more realistic goal would be 156 after cutting down really hard for the next two three weeks here um and then like i said friday's one sweet potato packs we're gonna be changing that up and just making it plain sweet potatoes which i'll be explaining here in the next clip but this is what my goal was and i think i was overdoing it with the goal per se when it comes to pounds itself because i don't want to lose that much weight that quick especially when i'm ready to just cut down it's going to take a lot more time for me to cut down without losing muscle so that's what it is for now show you guys exactly what I'm doing in the next clip for what well what I'm doing what I'm being gonna bleh, what I'm gonna be eating um, throughout this entire prep and what I have been eating and oh I didn't even talk about this abs this is what I do for abs every single one two and three days in a row take one day break go back again for three more days so yeah you know take what you take what you guys want from this and um, apply it to yourself see what works for you and let's check out the next clip. Hey guys, okay, so my meals for right after this workout I just had is gonna be chicken, vegetables, and we're gonna be having some sweet potatoes here. Now, with these sweet potatoes, it's a lot different than what I used to do before. Let me just, oh, it's not gonna work. Turn this around. So, where's the lighting? There we go. Okay, with these sweet potatoes that I have right over there, um, these are actual sweet potatoes. I usually buy just packaged sweet potatoes now, if you look at the ingredients, and a lot of people don't know this about ingredients, it's something that's very common, but a lot of people don't know. Now, if you go to the ingredients itself, it states every single ingredient in that product, whatever it may be. Um, if it's the first, whatever the first ingredient is, is the most they, they use in that source. Now, the last is the least amount. Now, 
if you look, it, whatever it may be, I'm going to talk about sweet potatoes. For my, for my sake, when I look at the ingredients, there's a couple things there, you know, potato, uh, sweet potatoes, stuff like that. But then there's, there's sugar. And sugar is one of the top ones. Now, I can understand why it tastes good. And when you put sugar in with anything, whatever it may be, a lot of companies put sugar with things. And they think it's healthy or you think it's good for you. Um, it's, it's not because they, just people don't rec recognize that there's sugar in that product. And that's why it tastes good. And that's why you're like, oh, I'm eating healthy. But really, you're not. And that's the reason why my other sweet potatoes in those packages packages have been so high calories. While this is way less calories than what it is, um, except for the cinnamon that I add now. I add cinnamon and salt. Salt has no calories, so, you know, have fun with that. Don't overdo it because there's other effects to salt. Cinnamon can add on calories. Um, just don't add too much, but it has a good taste to it. Now, it's not as crispy or any of that, but it still tastes really good. And it's way less calories. So keep that in mind, guys, when you look at food, when you look at products itself, um, look at the ingredients. The first one is the most that they use in that product. And the last one is the least amount. So it's going to go from the most to the least. So keep that in mind um, when you're buying something, when you're looking for things, um, when you go out. Uh, well, not restaurants, you can't really do that. But I guess when you go to Superstore, when you go to uh, Costco, whatever it may be, guys, keep that in mind. It's a good tip. Um, a lot of people don't know that, but I thought I'd let you guys know. Now, now I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was a short one. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update as to what's going on, what I've been doing, and for myself to look back at this when I do decide to cut down again as to what's going on um, when I do plateau and stuff like that. So, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like below. That helps me a lot, guys. It helps me get out to people out there that I haven't before. <clears throat> Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will reply to as many as possible, if not all of them, which I normally reply to all of them, to be honest. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to see, please let me know. Now, if you want to see more of these videos and more of this content, um, feel free to subscribe, guys. Uh, I got lots more coming starting May 7th. If I'm not mistaken, May 7th, there might be a video every single day. So please stay tuned for that, guys. And please subscribe. Please leave a like below and comment. Now, I hope you guys get aesthetic, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.